Hello, today we're going to talk about lenses, converging and diverging lenses, the object, the image that is created, uh, and describing the type of image that uh, is created. The first thing that we're going to uh, do is uh, define what a converging lens is. So a converging lens is uh, a lens, is a, le is a lens uh, that when the uh, parallel rays uh, go through the lens, those rays uh, are going to pass through the same point or converge in the same point. Okay, so any parallel uh, ray is going to uh, go through the same point, which we're going to call the focal point. Okay. Um, parallel to what you might ask? Well, parallel to the axis that the line that is uh, formed by the uh, joining the center of the uh, lens with that focal point. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, converging lenses are thicker in the uh, center and thinner in the extremes. Okay. Um, what type of converging lenses do we have? Well, we, we have, uh, remember that when something is has this shape, it's uh, like the entrance of a cave, we called it a concave, and when it's uh, the, the opposite shape, like a belly, it's called a convex shape. So um, there is this type of converging lenses, which we call biconvex lenses, okay? There's uh, another type of converging uh, lenses, which we call, um, uh, they're called plano-convex uh, lens, which is like this, plano-convex lens, okay? Uh, and then there's uh, the concave-convex lens, um, or the positive meniscus, which is, this one over here. All those lenses all those lenses are uh, represented normally with this uh, in diagrams with this kind of shape. A straight line that should be straight, sorry for that. A straight line uh, with two arrows at the top and the way I remember the, the shape of the arrows is I look at the edges of the lens, and as you can see, those edges are have this shape. Okay, uh, so those those are con uh, converging lenses, uh, or as you can see, they're also called convex lenses because they have that uh, shape. Uh, diverging lenses. Are those lenses? Uh, where when uh, an array of light parallel to the axis goes through the uh, lens, it is it uh, moves away uh, from that axis, so it diverges. Okay, that's why they are called diverging. And what happens there is that all those um, if this is the uh, sorry if this is the axis. All those rays are going to, if you um, if you extend those rays, they're going to uh, uh, join in the same point, which is the uh, focal point, and that the focal point is on the left instead of on the right. Okay, so those the virgin lenses are those where the parallel rays are going to move away from the axis, and they will virtually converge in. Uh, the left side in what we call the focal point, okay? Um, so these focal points are, are sometimes just called focal points, uh, sometimes they're called the image focal points and they're designed, they're, they're called either F or F prime, okay? Because they're the image ones. At the other side of the lens, you have in the conver in converging lenses, you have the object uh, focal point, which is just an F, 
Uh, and here the, the, on the diverging lens, the object focal point is on the right. Uh, diverging lenses are thinner in the center than they're on the edges. Uh, and the type of converging of diverging lenses that we have, uh, the most common that we represent is the biconcave. Uh, then we have the plano, uh, the plano concave, which is this sort of lens, plano concave, and then we have the negative meniscus, which is something like this. Okay. And all those uh, lenses, when we when we do diagrams. We represent them again with a straight line and then as you see here the edges are like that so the re we represent them with this figure okay so that's the type of lenses that we're going to talk about now we're going to talk about some distances that we have in those lenses um if we draw an axis and we draw for example a converging lens okay so from the center, uh, if the we've said that all the rays uh, converge in what we call the image focal point, at the same distance to the left, we have the uh, object focal point. Uh, this uh, distance over here is called F prime, which is the uh, focal distance. Okay, uh, the image focal distance, and here we have the distance f this uh, which is the object focal distance okay uh, this is the uh, the center or o uh, another important point is twice the focal distance which we have, have obviously to the same uh, to both sides uh, and that's an, also an important uh, point on both lenses we'll see why uh, and then if we have an image which is what we're going to try and calculate when we have an image, the distance from the image to the lens that's called normally S, uh, from the object to the lens that's called S, if we have an object, and then if we have, for example, an image like this, I'm not calculating now how that uh, is going to be, but the distance to the image is going to be S prime, okay? Uh, and the last thing we're going to need for the exercises is we're going to need uh, to know which rays we're going to use for reference uh, in the exercises. I'll explain. If we have, uh, we can have either a, a, um, a converging or a diverging lens, we're going to use it on a converging lens. Uh, and we have the uh, uh, focal point here. Uh, okay. Uh, and we have, imagine an image here. Uh, an object here we want to draw uh, to find out what image we're going to have uh, either at the left side at the right side or at the left side of the lens uh, and for that we use two of three uh, possible rays that we have uh, the the two rays that i normally use to do solve exercises are a parallel ray which touches the point of the image and that parallel uh, ray by definition of the converging lens is going to come through the focal point and the other uh, po um, the other um, uh, reference ray that I use is a ray that goes through that point and goes through the axis and any ray that goes through the center uh, will not be uh, the direction will not change okay so any ray that passes through the center follows the same path, okay? So that means that um, uh, we can use either two of those, uh, um, either two of those uh, rays to find out where they join, and then that's, that would be the image, okay? You can also use, an, uh, some people also use another third ray, which is the ray that goes through this point and through the object focal point and that ray will 
uh, that that array that goes to the object focal point will come out parallel okay so again any ray that uh, comes in parallel will go out through the focal point any ray that goes through the focal point will uh, come out parallel okay so those are the three reference rays rays that we're going to use in uh, in the exercises we can use the same rays uh, I'm just going to going to show you two of them to uh, use in a diverging lens where we have remember that the image focal point is here and the object focal point is there so if we have an image here we can use uh, as the reference ray the uh, image the ray that go comes parallel uh, and that ray will come out through virtually through the image focal point uh, and then come out like that okay so that's why it's called remember diverging uh, and then the ray that comes that comes through the axis that will not change direction so again that will be the image over there okay so now the exercises uh, we're going to be asking the exercises to find out the image that is uh, produced by a lens uh, depending on the distances so we're going to see all the cases now that we can have so you will not so you can uh, have seen them before you get to the exam okay um, the main cases that we have so first case we're going to start with the conversion lenses and the first case is going to be where we place uh, uh, the object at a greater distance than twice the uh, focal point we said that twice the focal point was an important point and we'll see why so if this is this uh, that is two four that's twice the focal point and we're going to place the image anywhere beyond that so the image is going to be at greater than twice the the object is going to be at greater distance at twice the focal point for example let's place it here so we're going to very quickly draw the lines the rays of light that we used for reference so that uh, sorry that'll be a, a parallel ray which will come out through the image focal point and a ray that will go through the axis and um, that ray is doesn't change path so with those two we already can see the um, the image is going to be this image and we have to describe the image okay then when we describe the image we have we have several um, several cases okay uh, which we can um, which we can uh, describe um, so the image the images can be and we'll I'll, I'll please place this here the images can be either greater or smaller the other is not important so great the images can be greater or smaller than the original okay um, they can be um, they can be uh, inverted or uh, not inverted okay so they can be inverted or not inverted and they can be um, and they can be real or imaginary imaginary or virtual you can use so real is when the image like in a in this type of image converging lens the image is formed by the rays of light converging somewhere so that this would be a real image and when the real image is formed by the uh, not by the rays but by when we extend those rays this is going to be a virtual or imaginary image okay so uh when, if we have to describe this image that's going to be inverted uh, so again what we're looking at is what happens when the image is placed at more than a double the distance 
uh, of the focal uh, lens. So when that happens, the images are going to be always um, the images are going to be always uh, inverted. Uh, they're going to be uh, smaller, as you can see, than the original, and they're going to be real. So let's look at the next case. We're going to place S. We're going to place the object at twice the focal distance. Exactly. And what is going to happen? So that's going to be uh, again F to F. The image will be there. And then that's F to uh, F. Okay, so if we do, if we draw the la the reference races, the other reference race, sorry, that we use, uh, the parallel is going to go through the image focal point, and the uh, ray that goes through the origin, sorry, the ray that goes through the center of the lens will not change path. So, uh, as you see, what kind of image is formed? The images that is formed is uh, this one over here, and it is inverted, real, and same size. So it's exactly the same size as the object. Uh, let's look at another case. The third case, we're going to place... Uh, we're going to place the image between um, so we're going to place the image between the the focal point and twice the focal point so if we do that sorry let's do yeah so if we do that and we place the image somewhere like here. Okay, so what's going to happen if we draw our reference rays? Well, that one is going to go, as we said, through the focal point, and the one that goes through the center. Is going to go, uh, is not going to change path. So the image is going to be this one over here. Okay, so the image is going to be real. It's going to be bigger. Whereas in the, in the first case that we saw, it was smaller. Okay, so now it's bigger and it's going to be inverted. Let's look at the fourth case. The fourth case is we, where we place the image exactly at the focal point. And so we're going to have something very strange here. If we place the image here, you'll see. And if we draw our rays of light, so this one goes through the focal point, and the ray of light that goes through the center is not does not change path. And you see that those rays will never cross, they're parallel. Okay, so the image is created, image is formed in the in you don't have an image, or the image is formed in the uh, infinitum. Okay, so you don't have an image, no image. And the last case is where we're going to place uh, the uh, S is going to be um, S is going to be, uh, be uh, um, greater than zero but smaller than F. So between the center and uh, the uh, center of the uh, lens and the focal point, okay? 
So if we do that, and we pre press place the ray there, we see that that ray will go through the focal point, and the one that goes through the axis is going to go through there. So what happens now? They're not they they won't uh, they won't cross paths here what happens is that they're going to cross paths somewhere over there okay so in this case as you see the image is uh, not inverted it's going to be virtual or imaginary as it's going to be uh, created by the prolonged uh, rays okay and um, and it's going to be greater than the original okay so those are all the cases in converging lenses what is going to happen in a divergent lens Well, in a divergent lens, if we draw the lens, there's only one case. That's why we've left it for the as uh, for uh, for the last. Uh, that's the image focal point, which is on the left now, and that is the object focal point. Uh, anywhere we pl place the image, what we're going to have is if we draw the rays that we use for reference so that ray is going to go as we said through the um, image focal point okay and the ray of light that goes uh, through the center will not change path so the image is going to be here and the image is always going to be is always going to be virtual it's always because it's always going to be created by the prolonged uh, rays it's always going to be smaller it is always going to be um, uh, not inverted uh, and it's always going to be between the image focal point and the origin. Okay, always it's always going to be in this area. Okay, so those those are all the exercises that you're going to have when drawing image uh, in lenses, images and objects in lenses. I'm going to le uh, leave you here some uh, formulas. The general formula for, in case you, you need them, general formula for, um, let's see if I, uh, if we've used these distances. Okay, so another thing we need to remember is, uh, no, yeah, we place the S, we know what S and S prime is. So um, the general formula for lenses is going to be this one. However, if the lenses, well, that's the radius of each, side but when the lenses are very uh, thin we can forget the radiuses and we this is the general formula and the most common formula that we use in lenses to calculate the distances okay and then we can uh, calculate the power of a lens and that's going to be uh, power is one divided by f prime and if f prime is measured in meters then uh, the power is measured in these, okay, in the trees, okay? And then uh, the uh, lateral, uh, we have this, which is how much the uh, it's augmented, the image, so that's y and y prime uh, are the sizes of the image and the object, and that is going to be equal to that, okay? This is just in case you need to uh, calculate distances in lenses. And then just to finish the subject of lenses, when do we use each lens? Well, 
uh, divergent lenses are used in short when you're being short-sighted short-sightedness why well what what happens is that when your eye a normal eye would uh, uh, with the lens in the eye would get all the rays of light and converge them into a point at the back of the eye okay so at this point over here okay that's a normal working um, a normal working eye so they will all converge there when someone is short-sighted what happens is that the eye is not converging the, ra the rays correctly and so the rays of light are uh, that come in are really converging nearer and not at the end of the eye and that will and then they will go on that's being short sighted okay so short sighted so what we do is we use a diverging lens okay we use a diverging lens why it's logical we put place a diverging lens here and then if we have the eye here that's not working correctly the rays that should come this way to change the color the rays that should uh, uh, come this way are going to be diverged and let's uh, let's say they're they're going to open up okay and so that makes uh, th that forces the eye that when when the rays come at a greater angle they can be converged where we need so they sort of open those rays up so that when they converge the short sighted converges a shorter distance but this makes it bigger okay so those that's those are divergent lenses that they use for short sightedness converging lenses are used for the contrary Are used for long sightedness which what happens there is that uh, the the eye is the incorrect eye is converging uh, uh, at a greater distance behind the eye so we need a converging lens so that uh, the rays are then converged converged nearer or, or when we need okay so converging lenses for long sightedness and also for uh for other uh, uh problems with the eye and diverging lenses for short sightness okay i hope you like the the video